Hello and happy Friday Eve from Radically Rational and RadicallyRational.com. First of all, and most importantly, welcome home, BB. I miss you so bad. Good to have BB back in the house. Okay, do you mind if I ask you a personal question? But understand this, it is born of genuine human concern. I'm worried about some of you. And I want to ask you this question. What exactly is the matter with you? Let me show you what I'm talking about. I'll start with a question. Did you have a problem with brief television cutaways of Mama Kelsey sitting in her booth when Travis and Jason were squaring off in the Super Bowl last year? No? Then why are you losing your shit over Taylor Swift? This is true, genuine, bona fide hysteria. There is nothing complex, clandestine, conspiratorial, sinister, or threatening about this. Let me see if I can explain this to you. Two attractive, high-profile pop culture celebs have a thing. It happens all the time. They appear to be happy and appear to be very supportive of each other. So why can't you just be happy for them? Or if you prefer, simply ignore them. Let's get this straight. Music is entertainment. Sports is entertainment. Television is entertainment. And celebrity relationships have always been in the entertainment spotlight, always. Sports celebrity relationships have always drawn cameras. If any of the following sports wives slash girlfriends are in attendance at their guys' games, you're gonna see them. You expect to see them. Cutaways of them would be conspicuous by their absence. This list includes, or has included, Victoria Beckham, David Beckham, Ciara, Russell Wilson, Holly Robinson Pete, Rodney Pete, Giselle Bunchen, duh, Olivia Culpo, mm, Christian McCaffrey, and before that, Danny Amendola. She likes her footballers. Haley Steinfeld, Josh Allen, Simone Biles, now Packers, former Texans defensive back, Jonathan Owens. Jessica Simpson, Tony Romo, remember that? Cabo, the whole thing, yeah. Kate Upton, Justin Verlander. Back in the day in San Antonio, Eva Longoria, Tony Parker. And Olivia Munn and Danica Patrick, Aaron Rodgers. And this phenomenon really isn't new. I've been a Cowboy fan for a long time. And believe it or not, I was once, back in the day, a teenager with a fully functional endocrine system. Those three seasons of cutaways of Joey Heatherton were not exactly offending me, okay? And you know what was a really big deal? Rams quarterback Bob Waterfield and bombshell actress Jane Russell back in the 1940s. And you've probably heard something about Joe DiMaggio and Marilyn Monroe. All right, so here's a quick list of all the things Swift and Kelsey are not about. Politics, culture wars, Trump, Biden, LGBTQ rights, Barbie, Pentagon PsyOps, veganism, a concocted match-made NFL marketing plan. The league was doing just fine. Trust me on that. And I thought some of you people didn't watch football anymore anyway. Huh. And it's not about gold-digging women either. Are you kidding me? You do realize that Taylor could buy and sell Travis and the same thing was true of Giselle and Tommy. TV is a business. It is about attracting eyeballs. Any television producer slash director who didn't show occasional, and by the way, they actually have been very limited in number, but if you didn't show occasional shots of Taylor rooting for her guy, you'd be fired on the spot for gross professional incompetence. It's your job. You know, being an old guy, I just recently found out what the acronym SMH stands for. Coach is indeed shaking my head. My goodness. God bless your little hearts because you're not being radically rational or rational at all. Get it back together. Recover your dignity. It's football, it's television, it's two young people, and a lot of people are interested. You don't have to be. 
But these conspiracy theories, don't forget that tinfoil hat. See you soon for sure. We are radically rational.